Hello everyone, today we're introducing a new Ioptron AZAQ strain wave gear mount, the HAE43. We will begin with the tripod. First, spread the three legs of the tripod. For the next step, we remove the center post and alignment pegs from the tray. Then we install them on the tripod top plate. Tighten the center rod of the tripod first. Then use the tray locking knob to secure the tray tightly. Now the tripod has been fully set up. Now we will unpack the HAE43 mount. First, we're opening the mount hard case. Here we have a test report for the mount. Most importantly, we have the quick start guide for the mount. Inside the case, we have the mount head, a hand controller, and a power adapter. The mount shown here is the iPolar version, so we also have an iPolar electronic polar scope with an included USB cable. This is the hand controller cable and a USB cable for mount communication with a computer. There is also an extra alignment peg along with two keys for the hard case. Now we will install the mounts on the tripod. Remove the azimuth locking screws from the mount side arms. There is one on each side with a black washer. Once they are removed, use the screws to secure the mount onto the tripod top. Take out the Allen wrench tool. Use it as a lever to tighten the screws. However, the locking screws should only be fully tightened after a polar alignment is completed. Here is the latitude locking knob. We will loosen that first. Here is the latitude adjustment knob. You may use it to adjust the mount according to your local geographic latitude. After adjusting, lock the latitude locking knob. You may also use the Allen wrench to fully tighten the knob. This should also only be done after your polar alignment. On this side, there is also a small locking lever. It should be released before adjusting and then locked after adjusting. Here we have the two azimuth adjustment knobs. Turn the knobs together, left or right, to adjust the direction of the mount. The mount has three latitude adjustment ranges. Use this latitude adjustment limit pin to select different holes for adjustment. The options are 0 to 31 degrees, 29 to 60 degrees, and 59 to 90 degrees. The mount has two modes. One is equatorial mount mode and the other is alt azimuth mount mode. When the latitude is adjusted to 90 degrees, the mount can be used as an alt azimuth mount. Now let's install the iPolar. There is an arrow on the iPolar pointing up. Install it here on the mount. This part is not only a level indicator for the mount in AZ mode, but is also the mounting adapter of the iPolar. Install it and tighten these two thumb screws. Next, let's install the telescope. Here we have our dovetail saddle. It is a Vixen and Lozmandy dual saddle. Loosen and back out the two dovetail saddle clamps. Then install the telescope. Make sure the center of gravity of the telescope is on the center of this dovetail plate. 
then lock the two dovetail clamps. This port is the power port of the mount. We will plug in the power adapter now. This port is the interface of the hand controller. So we will take the hand controller cable and plug one end into the hand controller first. Then plug the other end of the cable into the mount. This port is an ST4 guiding port. This small hole is the indicator light of the power supply. This is the switch of the mount. We will switch it on now. Now use the hand controller to complete the setup. First enter the menu and find the settings. Then set the current time, latitude, and longitude. Then save your settings. Time and location may also be synced through the iOptron Commander app on Windows or smartphone. This will automatically sync your mount to your device's time and location. Now the mount has been fully set up and is ready to use. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy your HAE43.